Did you know why ships don't sink despite their huge weight? A ship made of iron weighs about 50,000 tons. That's as heavy as 100 fully grown African elephants. Yet, it can float on water without sinking. How is that possible? To answer this question, let's build a small boat. This boat has a big problem. When we put some weight in it, it sinks. But we want to make it so that it doesn't sink. So we add some empty plastic bottles to it. This makes the boat float, but it's not very stable. If we add too much weight, it will still sink. To make the boat more stable, we attach the plastic bottles to the bottom of the boat, making it look like this. Now it can hold much more weight before it starts to sink, but why does this work? When we attach the bottles to the bottom of the boat, we increase the amount of water that the boat displaces. For example, if the boat is one meter wide, then it will displace one meter of water. If we double the width of the boat, then it will displace twice as much water. And if we triple the width, then it will displace three times as much water. You can see that the amount of water displaced increases with the width of the boat. The reason why ships don't sink is because they are very wide. They displace a lot of water. In fact, they displace more than 100,000 tons of water. That's why they can float, but why do they need to displace this much water? You may have noticed that when you take a bath and the water reaches a certain level, you start to feel more and more stable. This is because you are displacing more water, which makes you more buoyant. Similarly, ships are more stable when they displace more water. But there is a limit to how much water they can displace. If you keep filling the bathtub, at some point the water will overflow. This is the same for ships. If they displace too much water, the water will eventually overflow and spill over the deck of the ship. This is what we call the cargo capacity of a ship. Once the cargo capacity is reached, the ship will sink. For example, the Titanic could carry 3,000 passengers plus crew. When it hit the iceberg, the watertight doors were opened, which let in huge amounts of water. The water displaced by the passengers and crew was no longer enough to keep the ship afloat. The ship had taken on too much water and it sank. Do you know what happens to the weight of an object underwater? Watch this video to find out.